Hey loves and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Yaley and today I will be showing you guys how to create your own logo 100% by yourself because it's that easy with a completely free app. I myself will be doing four different styles and you guys can incorporate some of each into your own logo and create a completely unique logo for you and your business. Before watching this video, if you need any help whatsoever with business and how to create a business, if you need a little bit more advice or things like that before you get your own business started or if you already have a business but you just wanna learn a little more, Please watch this video. I don't know where the card is going to be, but this is my how to start a business video and it is really, really helpful. But without further ado, let's just get on right into the video. Everything will be screen recorded from my phone. So yeah, let's hop on to that screen. All right, guys. So I don't know if you guys can hear a TV in the back, but completely disregard that. So what we're going to be using today. Whoa, <laughs> I don't know what that was about. But the app that we're going to be using is already right here, but just so you guys can see, we're going to be using Pixar. So Pixar is 100% free, but of course you can upgrade it once you're already in and you can, you know, upgrade it and pay. So I do have the upgraded version, but I will be doing everything completely free. So everything I'm doing will be free. So you guys can do it as well. There's only like a few little add-ons that cost a little, just a little bit more. So, you know, I do pay for that. But like I said, everything is free. So what we're going to do is we're going to click that little plus, right? The little plus at the bottom of the screen. We're going to press that and we're going to scroll all the way down to backgrounds. We're going to hit see all so we can see all the backgrounds. There's all the backgrounds they have, a whole lot of variety. But what we're going to do is this little top bar right here. We're going to click on the second back background, which is a little checkered board. What this is is literally an invisible background. So everything that we do on top of this is basically going to be just that. So we can use this um, image to put it as a watermark we can put it over another color like a colored background anything but you we want it to be like this because when you go and make your labels and things like that you don't really want a background color usually you want it to be clear or white or anything so that's why we're doing this it will all make sense as we go so if you guys have watched my last video which was not my last one but my how to start a business video which i did put a card up in the beginning of this video you guys will know that i said the best logo to have is a text-based logo so yes um later on in this video we will include like little images in our logos but we're gonna go with the basics first a nice text-based logo so everyone can know exactly what it is that you're doing and like the name of your business so we're going to think I'm a makeup artist, which I am. <laughs> and um, basically, I'm going to be making my own page for makeup or whatever. So the page is going to be called Slade by Yaley. So what we're going to do is we're just going to write Slade first. And we're going to find a font for this. So there's all these fonts here. But I kind of want something different. Hmm, I think I do, right? So what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to go here and we're going to go to thefonts.com. Like I said, everything is completely free and we're going to find a nice, cute logo right here. So I actually want something cursive. So let me find cursive. It should be here on the top. It looks like it's not today, so... Usually it's always right here, but they change it all the time because they have a lot, a lot of fonts. So, 
I'm gonna go to fancy and I'm gonna click curly. So these are real nice or whatever. I'm gonna just look for one that you like the most. So uh, the one that caught my attention is actually one up here. I kind of like this one. So Martin or Martine. <laughs> oh, Marlene. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to click download right here, right? And you're probably like, I've done this before. I don't know how to like download it 100%. Like, I don't know how to use it or whatever. But we're going to do this little arrow that's at the top. It's going to open it up for us in our files. So here are actually uh, some of the fonts that I've used before, but we're going to use Marlene today and we're going to press down on it and go down to share and we're going to share Pixar. So what it's going to do is open up a whole new thing for you. So you're going to click background again and you're going to click on the little, whoa, what's all of this about? whoa i didn't know they had that it looks like it's that just specific font that has all that extra stuff but anyways like i was saying you just click the background or whatever and open up the checkerboard again so it started everything over again which doesn't matter what you can do is just download a whole lot of fonts and basically it's going to save it all right here so these are all the fonts that i've downloaded already so i'm actually just going to go with this one almost there and I'm gonna type in Slade. So I'm gonna put it straight and open it up a little bit. And you guys can change the colors to anything you want. All of these colors right here. And you also have a little color circle, color wheel. And you can change the color. So I might just go with a gradient because you can do that as well. And I'm gonna pick. I'm going to do a gradient of yellow and like orange or something or red. Yellow and red. Boom. So I want it to be slayed by Yaley. So usually what you want to do, if you want to put emphasis on a specific word, you want to make it a different font than everything else. So that's why I made slayed cursive. And I'm going to go and I'm going to put by Yaley but this part right here isn't really of importance to me we just want them to know that their body gets slayed so what I'm gonna do with this font is make it a nice regular kind of simple font I'm gonna use this Vogue yeah do I want that one mm, I don't really think so I want something more simple so they do have fonts right here on Pixar and they have like a lot of variety too but like you see these little crowns those are, those are the ones that you pay for so I'm gonna use everything that I wouldn't have to pay for I like six caps so I'm actually gonna use this one I'm gonna shrink it down like that though eh, do I like that one nah not really <laughs> text me one that one is looking like a go yes sir so I'm gonna put it right here I want it to be kind of smaller. You can also, right here at the bottom where it says spacing, you can space out the characters like that. You can make it closer. And if you put like more than one line, you can also adjust the lines. But I'm good with this. I'm just going to make it smaller. I don't know. Something is throwing me off. It's probably the color. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna put it nice and close like this, like down here. I don't know why I don't like this. Let me change the font once more. Yeah, this one, I think I like it a little better. So I'm gonna put it like right there. And I'm probably going to change the color. Maybe. Let me see. What does red look like? I might just put it black. So you can't really see it that much right now. But 
don't worry we will fix that in a few so what we're gonna do now is actually make this a little bit more interesting and we're gonna put a frame over it so i'm gonna search up a frame in the stickers this is stickers by the way and usually you want something that's circular because if you're gonna use it for like your profile picture on instagram it would have to be a circle <laughs> Mm, this one looks kind of cool yes so i'm gonna use this one and i don't want it to be bigger than this square so i'm actually just gonna go and make everything a little bit smaller and put that right over it and that's literally how i'm gonna keep it so it looks kind of boring right now but when you make it like a profile picture or you put it over whatever this is more of a logo that i would use as a profile picture because it's a makeup kind of page but i'm gonna click this white background i'm gonna hit add photo and i'm gonna add that photo right there so boom this is a nice and simple logo but look how cute it is Let's move on to the second um logo so actually i just finished filming all three of them and i was connected to my speaker so i sound like i'm in a fish tank so now i gotta do it all over again so we're gonna go back to our checkered board and remember how i told you you know you want to save all the fonts you want or whatever so yeah this is going to be another um text-based font but it's going to be a little different it's going to be little spiced up or whatever so this is gonna be baddie i think i'm gonna put it in all caps yeah baddie we're gonna put baddie because this font is like literally like the baddie font like it's the bad bitch font you don't want no cursive when you write in baddie you don't want it to look nice and sweet or whatever <laughs> so yeah anyways um what we're gonna do is spice this up so we're gonna put a color on it but we're not gonna put an actual color because i want this to be gold so you're probably like how am i gonna put gold like they only have these colors here it's not gold you're gonna go to texture and you're gonna go to your images so you want to save a whole bunch of images from google or whatever like this right here is all silver backgrounds or whatever so you just want to look up the background that you want and i'm gonna pick this super cool gold one and look how nice it looks like it looks like real metal right now it's crazy so we're gonna add another text and it's gonna be our it's gonna be for jewel jewelry or whatever that's why i put the gold because you know i want people to know like this is a jewelry kind of store or whatever so we're gonna put baddie jewels and i'm gonna change this font because um remember how i said you want to put emphasis on the things like that you want and i want emphasis on baddie like yes this is a jewel shop but i want you to know it's a baddie jewel shop so <laughs> we're gonna pick this one here put it in the middle like that and we are gonna add a sticker just to spice things up just a little bit this is still a text based um logo but we just want the text to be a little you know fancy so i'm gonna put crown we're gonna find some nice crowns. So, so this one right here, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks better than this one. So we're gonna zoom back into the B. We're gonna slant it a little. We're gonna shrink it a bit. And we're gonna lay that right over the B like that. So I, you gonna, you guys get the concept or whatever. And yeah, that's our second one done. It's completed. We're going to save it. And we're going to put it over. We're actually going to put it over a black background. Because, you know, we really wanted to give us a baddie vibe. I don't know why I opened up the checkered board again. I clicked black. So, we're going to add it over this. And boom. Boom that's what it looks like isn't it fire and you can put this over whatever background you guys want all right so let's go on to our third 
font, which this one is going to be more of a picture than a text. So we're going to go to stickers. And I hope you guys know you can have your own unique sticker. We're going to I'm going to show you exactly how it's done in the next logo that we make. But I'm just letting you guys know, because, you know, sometimes you use things that are actually like people's like products and stuff. So like nails, for example, let's go to nails. And like these are actually like other people's nail sets. So, you know, people are going to be a little bit questioning like, girl, you ain't do those nails. So where you got that picture from, you know? So, yeah, that's what I'm just trying to say. <laughs> so now we're going to go to text. I'm going to write nailed it. Nailed it. I'm going to put it in cap. Nailed it. Okay. Might change the font up a bit. Yeah, like this one. I like it to be, you know, a little bit more. Like you get it, you know? I don't know if you get it. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to change this again. Change the color. We're going to put texture. And I have these um, silver ones saved too. These silver backgrounds. So I might keep it like that. I'm actually probably going to do a, a glitter, gold glitter. And I'm going to add a stroke to it so you really can see it. And I'm also going to space out. You can space out these letters. So like, like these. And boom. Like they don't even have to know like what exactly your, the brand name is. They're going to know exactly what you're about as soon as they see the picture. So if that's the kind of look that you're going for, then you go for that. So we're going to go back here. And we're gonna select our own photo. So I chose this photo, right? And at the bottom, you can see it says cut out. And what we're gonna do, you can put person and it does the work for you. But the only thing I don't like about this is that the edges be a little bit like fuzzy. So I'm gonna keep it like that just cause, but just know you can edit all of this very, very easily when you're first cutting it out. So, I'm trying to do this fast because I feel like the video is already long enough. And you're just hearing my voice. Um, but yeah, we're going to put this one. And then we're going to find a sticker. And we're going to put a background. So, background. I'm going to put background circle. Uh, kind of like this one. Yes. Um, we're going to go on the top here where there's like those two pages. And we're going to move it down. Yeah, so actually it looks pretty cool like this because um, it just looks more realistic, I feel like, with the fuzzy edges. Actually, I'm going to edit this, um, put a filter on it to make it look like a cartoon. Like those, you know, instead of doing it myself, I'll just get the filter to do it. Boom. You're probably like, ew, girl, that looks ugly. <laughs> It right i know it does oops I'm trying to put in the center there we go and now i'm gonna put another sticker just so i could like the edges could look a little better so frame now oh uh, let me just pick this one i want something with like a big border because i want it to be able to cover cover up the the square at the bottom like you can see how the image is it looks like a square so I'm going to show you guys over here at the bottom, right there. I want it basically to cover that up. So I might just add a little text. Um, I'm going to put edits by yay. So it could be like, you know, like I do edits or whatever. And this is an example of one with myself. Um, I might do it like cursive. Yes. And I am going to bend. Oh, so the bend is actually something you pay for, guys. So you can't, you can't bend the image if, if you don't pay for it. So I'm just going to keep it straight. Even though I did do the last one with the bend. I'm going to go to color, texture. I'm going to put this gold. Yes, and I'm actually gonna put a stroke on it so you guys can see it more so like the letters could pop out 
Um, I could pick any color. I might just go with this one. So, yeah. Boom! Apply and save. So that is all for this video, loves. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you like all four of these different styled logos and I hope you guys can incorporate some of what you've learned here from each different style and incorporate that all into one good, beautiful logo that uniquely fits you and your business. I'm logging off. That is it for me. I hope you guys enjoy. I think I already said that. <laughs> But hit that subscribe button, make sure you like, comment, and all that good stuff. Have a good one, loves!